Is the 100% world record impossible to beat? Well, no record is actually impossible to beat. Have any of you actually dug deep into the 100% world record run for Super Mario Bros. 3? What makes it so good and why were we able to get a 109.38 when the main goal was just to get that juicy 69? What happened in the run to make it turn out that we would end up getting a 109.38? I think we should take a quick look and talk about some of the things that did happen in the run versus some of the things that didn't happen in the run and see if it's even worth going for. I know some people in the past have been trying to go for it and doing their own 100% run, but even I was not expecting to get that 109.38. So let's grab our drinks, let's take a look and watch the run and see what we can come up with. I don't even use that intro anymore. Apparently they switched and I got the music box after. What the fuck, man? God, I'm so glad that's over. That <laughs> sucks to suck, I guess. I should have been paying attention. What was I doing? Attention to certain things. Because like, you get the hammer set. Eh, 1-1 one, one was okay. I don't think I really made any mistakes. This is obviously not gonna be time to save there. Good P-Speed build, good P-Speed build. That's right, and 100%, you don't have to get the warp whistle or anything. I, I forget, that that's a really good part about 100%, I think. Boring. I mean, it's just an auto-scroller, there's nothing to do. L like, look, there's nothing to do here. It's just sitting there, I'm reading chat. I'm not even talking, that's how bored I am. So that's one of the benefits of 100%, is that you can get your tail early and you can fly to the top without having to do that super hard uh, duck jump into the music block. Very easy. It, it's a great time save, honestly. So I guess that's one really good instance of RNG that I just got. Not only did I jump on top of the hammer, brother, and that does save a little bit of time. When you stomp on his head, he'll he'll drop down. And when everything goes off screen, that's when the chest appears. So if I jumped from below, I would pop the hammer brother up and he would have went into the air and then slowly came down, whereas jumping on him. So not only did I get to fight him early before 1-5, I was able to stomp on him. So that's actually a pretty good time save right there. That makes the 100% all that much better. That's kind of nice. I get better and probably not use the Switch Pro controller. Wow, no tunnel. Disappointed in myself. Any belly floppers? No one's belly flopping down into the pit. Not me. I use the Switch Pro controller. Not bad. World 1 is a 504.70. According to my last split, I lost 1.26, which my last split would have been about a 503.5 almost. And that's that's a really good, that's a really good World 1. So this World 1 itself, I mean, it looks like I lost time, which I obviously did compared to my last one, but it's not that bad. Let's keep going. Hopefully World 2 is better. I don't want anything to do with Nintendo Switch controllers. Anyone's favorite world, World 2? Let's go! If my voice was heard, I would tweet out to Nintendo. Nintendo's not listening to you, Mitch. All right, yeah, give it up. What do I use instead? I'm, I don't... We got a flower. No turn back for a card. That saves time in the long run. That just makes this run just that little bit better, you know? That's like another thing that you, like, you have no control over saving time, whether you do that or not. It just happens. Sounds like everything in Mario 3 is like that, isn't it? 8-bit dough. I do have... Oh, it hurts so much. No P speed. I could. There's about another two seconds you could save if you could get that fire shot P speed, but I didn't get it. I mean, you barely go for it. Nobody wants to reset at six minutes because of a pixel perfect P speed strat, anyways. It's just stupid. To the switch via USB. No 292 in the pipe. So sad. All right, so the Hammer Brother is actually in a pretty good spot. However, I did get a movement of two after 2 2, which makes me think. The Hammer Brother is still going to be by the Pyramid. However, he did come left after 2-1, which means I can get rid of him early and I don't have to worry about their shenanigans. And I might be able to get some movements of 1, so this is looking pretty good. No, you don't want to pro- Using a star in 100%, you do have one extra star. Um, unless you're at the top level, there is probably a better place for other runners to use that star. But for me, there really is nowhere else where I can go into my inventory, equip a star and save this much time. So this is pretty good. Small hands. Green Rocket, Green Rocket, that's good. You wanna see Green Rocket? Uh, that wouldn't be a time save over my last PB because 
the the 10952 and the 10950 whatever i think i was still doing red rocket anyway so that's still pretty good So even though I got, even though I saved time from grabbing the fire flower without a turn back, I still had to make sure I did a little turn back there to make sure that I didn't get another flower. That would have sucked so much. Like perfectly hold it left and right if you don't want accidental down or up inputs. Why is the sun so angry? There's lots of theories about why the sun's angry. And I think it's because everyone's running away from him. He has no friends. He has no friends. Nobody wants to be near him. Unfortunately, he kills everything he touches or gets close to. I think that would make me pretty angry too. And you know how you press up to climb a vine, but you don't- You go for level five before you go for level four, especially if the Hammer Brother is in the situation he's in right here. That will lead you up to grab the hammer, break the block and get the warp whistle and come back down and do the pyramid. It's to minimize the extra map movements. If the Hammer Brother was below the pyramid and I went to five, I'd have to grab him and maybe do the pyramid, break the block, do the special bro, come back and do two four. But ideally you wanna do two five, two four, hammer brother, break rock, warp whistle, secret bro, pyramid and exit. So I think I got that route, but let's take a look. Level four went pretty well. Level four is kind of one of the more stressful levels in world two, but it seemed to have gone fine here, so we're, we're just gonna keep going. Hammer Brother's kind of in a good position here, but he's acting like a jerk. If he goes down, I have to do extra map movements. Hopefully not. What a surprise. I'm not surprised. Pretty decent fire, bros. The chest won't appear until the fire goes off screen, so there's really not much you can do. You can maybe save or lose a little bit of time here and there, depending on the pattern, but... The fire bros are definitely not as bad as the boomerang bros, whether they move forward or backwards and where the hammer brothers move on the map. It should be fine. I'm a little bit quiet here on the pyramid because it's uh pyramid's always a stressful level. That was a very, very nice pyramid. That, that was a that was a sick pyramid. Being able to get my rebuild uh really fast on the other side of that wall, that's kind of what you're looking for. Again, that world two was was um was really good. The only thing I was missing was getting P-speed in 2-2. That was actually save me a couple seconds, and I did what two extra map movements compared to you would normally do in 100% if the Hammer Brothers didn't work out perfectly. It'd be like an extra six, sometimes seven. Uh, I'm in a situation where I can get a good fire kill, so absolutely no complaints. I have a slight upward angle, kind of, when I hold. Sometimes it actually gets pretty bad with the way I hold the D-pad. It like, I've never cut my thumb from it, but it, it can get me. Also, Toad's, Toad's secret house in 1-3. He does say one toot with this whistle will take you to a far off land. Yeah, it's like strange land, far off land. I don't even remember. Somebody in the comments tell me. Unbelievable. Did I just get an off screen wand grab? I actually forgot that I got an off screen wand grab in 100%. That makes this record even that more annoying to trying to beat. So off screen wand grab not only allows you to grab the wand faster, faster you you drop down quicker as well so it's like you save time grabbing the wand and then you save time after grabbing the wand it's anywhere between like 3.5 to 4 seconds like if you got bad hammer brothers and not that like there's no way it's very hard to catch up to this kind of time so hopefully world 3 goes well but you're gonna see right here that mario's not gonna drop at all you just save time from that it's amazing right there you just see that like i just instantly went to the king instead of dropping so that's where a big chunk of the time save comes in this is where i get runaway though runaway bro in world three doesn't really affect your run as much as it would in warpless warpless is kind of a reset if you're someone in my position and 100 percent it's just the hammer brother does so many extra map movements and you can get map movements of zero by the time you beat level i mean by the time you beat the fortress the first fortress you can have them both gone but if he runs away you might not be able to kill the the second one until three seven Sometimes even 3-4-2, which means you're getting about 0.5 or 1 second extra time per level. And if there's five, like, that's just a lot of time. So, you still want, you still want to watch out for Runaway, bro. I have, oh, that juicy P-Speed. It's so nice when you get 3-2. That is such a good level. And it's actually kind of annoying to learn. So, if you see anyone do 3-2... They, everyone deserves a little bit of praise for doing it. Plus, we got a movement of one at the start of the world. Both Hammer Brothers moved. 
That's exactly what you want to see. This run so far is very, very good. Ah. Oh, that Hammer Brother moving. Why can't I get that every single run? They just both just move, move into one. So good. Very beautiful. Love to see it. Oh, more movements of one. What is this run? Off screen, one grab, all movements of one. Holy, I'm sweating here. What's going to happen in this run? Don't tell me door three is coming, right? No door three. What a wuss. You're not really not going to go for door three on 1147 world two. All movements of one. I thought this was Mitch flower power. Low pattern. Lo this pattern right here. That means I can kill them faster. Thank you. Welcome back. All right, so we got pretty decent Hammer Brother movements. As you can see, the position he's in, I kind of have to do one extra map movement because I don't want to risk getting runaway. So I'm going to kill him first right here. But he did do a movement of two over level four, but I'm not complaining. No crazy extra map movements. Uh, let's see if we get low pattern here. Okay, so we got a high pattern and we got a low pattern with one movement of two and, and what, two or four extra map movements or something like that. Not bad, not bad at all. Off screen wand grab, still good, baby. This strat coming up right here has actually, I've lost some really good pace runs too. So you're gonna break the block, you're gonna build peace speed, and then you're gonna use the last Koopa to get into the pipe at the bottom earlier. Cause if you don't, you have to go around the flipper. Check it out. Got the peace speed, All right? We do a weird jump here to preserve it. And now here it comes. Right, and that allows me to enter the pipe as early as possible, just like any other auto scroller. Without doing that, you're you're risking some stuff here. It sucks. If anyone watching this video does speedruns of Super Mario Bros. 3 and they haven't done 100%, go and learn this level because this level right here, the way it like works is that everything lines up for you to like climb these steps and then drop down and then go over. This level's very fun, and it's kind of basic. It's not that bad. The Sunken Fortress. That's actually a super swim you do right at the start, too. Very nice kill on the Boom Boom. His feet weren't touching the ground when you got the kill off, which means you, you kind of killed him as fast as... Not as fast as you possibly can, but the higher he is or the closer he is to his first jump, obviously the faster you kill them, but you never want to get too close. Imagine losing this run because you were too aggressive on a Boom Boom. Not worth it. Yeah, that was okay. That was pretty basic level. There's really not much going on in, in 3.8 and 3.9 and stuff like that. Well, 3.9's got the H jump, but 3.8, not a whole lot. Oh, H! She got it! How much do you guys want to bet that since the Hammer Brothers worked in World 2 and 3, that World 4 is like, they're gearing up? I believe that that's exactly how the Hammer Brothers work. You get good one, two, three... They're, they slowly start getting ready, and then World 5, boom, they just wreck you. All right, so after all that, we only saved about three seconds. And remember, off-screen one grab has something to do with that, which is pretty good. I think my previous run did actually have a better World 3 in terms of Hammer Brother movements and both bottom patterns, but what am I complaining? Minus three, and, and my PB is a one hour, nine minutes and 52, so that's already a 109 uh almost 49 that's 109.50 very close why does everyone keep talking about how i how i don't go for the fast strategy in 4-1 i mean this was like a year ago or something like that so i mean better than mitch strategy probably i did actually stop doing it so i kind of wimped out on it but i'm doing it now i'm, I'm back and doing it now so I can almost get, I can almost be a good player again, hopefully. Pretty good Hammer Brother movements. 4-1 and 4-2 have gone exactly the way you would normally want. And the Hammer Brothers were kind of trickling on the other side. And since this is 100%, I have to do 4-1, 4-2, 4-3, and 4 Fortress. So if the Hammer Brother runs away from me after 4-2, I got to chase him all the way to like 4-4. And it's just a nightmare. But luckily so far, I should be in a good position. I can't fully remember, so let's see. Well, 
There it is. I put him to sleep. That's actually a great place to put him to sleep, too. Really good spot. What a beautiful level, isn't it? This level's so good. Nice. We got the P speed. That's good. Didn't get lack two snipe. That's good. It's very hard. Sometimes if you're not super fast, that lack two will snipe you, man. He'll get you. That's actually a pretty good position with the Hammer Brothers. Um, you get to do the first one, but ideally you don't want to do four five before four six. If this was warpless, but this isn't. So 100%, it really shouldn't matter. Nice. Here's the first part of the pseudo stutter step in this level. You need to jump at a very specific spot here. When you're in the air, you're gonna shoot a fireball. Right there, I shot that fireball. I'm gonna try and land on this pipe as early as I can and do a turn back off of it. If you look at the, my P meter, I'm gonna build some arrows. And when I turn off of it and land on the ground, some arrows are already gonna be built and I'm gonna continue building off of that. As you can see, I built three, I did a turn back off, and then I started to build my third one again. I need to build that third one when I jump up to the next question blocks right here. And now that I built the, I, I did one quick arrow build on the fourth and now it's at three. So it's, it should be able to continue up from three to four. And then I have to small jump in between the next check to finish building it. Nice. That is, in my opinion, that is the hardest P-Speed strategy to get comfortable with in the entire game. That right there. Mm, and it's like a two to three second time save. It is beautiful, but by far one of the hardest. By far one of the hardest. This run's actually turning out to be pretty good. Being as I do this level in Warpless, it's a, a very, very comfortable with this one. I need to wipe off those hands. I'm pretty nervous. World 4 has gone amazing. And the only thing that can screw me over that's kind of out of my control a little bit is the P meter in the second fortress. Sometimes even if you do it perfectly, the game checks for your P meter at a specific spot and you don't build it up. So that's that's what I'm worried about. I swear it tried to take it from me, but it didn't. 2538A press is actually pretty disgusting. That is, uh, you don't see that often at all. That is a really, really good time. A 2751 coming out of World 4. I mean, I could I could save a little bit more time from that as well if I didn't have to backtrack for the one hammer, brother. And if I got I maybe one more movement of one, I could I probably would have golded there. But it just goes to show that that wasn't a gold. Damn, 2751. All right, now we got to get the pseudo stutter step in 5-1. Get that piece speed. Let's go. Ooh, we got another fast P speed strategy. That is not easy, but that's a good introduction on learning how to do the pseudo stutter step. Again, I only call them pseudo stutter steps because I mean, what else What else do you call them? Because you're not doing what the task does. Nobody can. We're doing it our own way. So I don't know. Oh, we got a movement of four right at the start. I, you know it, you know the hammers are just gearing up. You know, You know what this means, right? You know what they're doing right there. Oh, top pattern, losing a little bit more time. Oh, so that's two movements of four, top pattern. Yeah, let's keep it going. Yeah, I love World 5. You can't escape it. You can't escape it. For anyone who doesn't know, the Hammer Brothers move one tile on the map, and if there's a level in their way, they have to cross it. You can, like, Hammer Brothers cannot sit on levels, right? In the sky, there is the fortress, right? If you picture World 5 right now in the sky, you got the fortress, 5-8, and 5-9. So if the Hammer Brother goes down at the fortress, it does fortress, 5-8, 5-9. Each time the Hammer Brother moves the tile, that's 0.5 seconds lost, gone. So the three movements of four versus the potential movement of one, that's, a 1.5 second loss every single time. If I were to got movements of one, which I mean, let's face it, this is actually pretty average. This is a pretty average Hammer Brother World 5. Four. 
That's four. That's four movements of four in a row. But he's out of there, right? Remember, the first movement of four, he goes behind there and gets stuck. The second movement, he comes out of getting stuck. The third movement, he went back and got stuck. The fourth movement, he came out from getting stuck. So can we stop, please, getting movements of four? Hopefully. Let's go. Okay, that wasn't a movement of four. Finally, thank you. Five four is always a uh, pretty nice level to watch. Pretty nice level to watch. Close. Well, let's see what he does here. Finally, okay. So we're starting to bring the time back. To even get movements of one in World Five on hundred percent is pretty hard. So getting one, two, or three kind of swings the scale a little bit back in our favor. So keep up. You right? Stay positive. Try not to make any mistakes. That's the most important part. Yes, that's very hard to do. That is a very hard strategy to do. We got it. The beautiful thing here is that that Hammer Brother cannot pass that lock. So we're guaranteed a movement of one here, which is really nice. Check it out. Boom, movement of one. So we just finished five, six, which is the boring auto scroller. Now the Hammer Brother can do another movement of four, a movement of one, or a movement of two past the castle. Everything about that sucks, but out of the three options, two of them are good for us and not bad. One of them is kind of shit. So let's see what we get. That is very nice because now that I beat five, six, I can cross the mushroom house, go up and get rid of him early. So the fact that I got rid of him early at this point in time is not so bad. The four movements of four is still pretty shitty though. Now, let me tell you, what a surprise top pattern. What a surprise. So sexy. Oh my God. I love that level when it works. Really? No Jesus clip? I wonder why not? I've always liked that fortress. It's pretty tough and there's some slick jumps, but normally if you practice it a bunch, it's one of those levels that kind of remain consistent amongst everyone. It's very nice. Good level. Get an off-screen wand grab in World 3, so I can't save time in World 4 for off-screen wand grab, but I can get an off-screen wand grab in World 4, and that will save time in World 5. Not to sound like an asshole explaining it, I'm just kind of out of breath. Well, you did sound like an asshole and you are out of breath, but thanks for teaching us because it's always helpful. Thank you very much. Look at how much time those Hammer Brother movements. All right, so we are still ahead by 2.68. We lost 5.1 and to be honest, that kind of sucks. Had the Hammer Brothers not screwed us over there, we had still been close to minus seven, minus eight, which man, that would have been really good. But I mean, a lot of us know the outcome of the run, but we're here because we want to learn about what's going on in the run. And is this run impossible? And so far this run, I mean, you get a better world five, you're going to save time on me. That's all I'm saying. So right off the bat, we started this world with a bump on the overworld map. That's not something you really want to see. That doesn't make you feel good. But luckily, World 6 is our last world to worry about Hammer Brothers. As long as they don't marathon and they don't go in any jank positions, that'll be it for the Hammer Brothers. And I'm very happy because I'm minus time right now. This is what I need. Haha, <laughs> 69. This level's not so bad. It's got a little bit of awkwardness to it, but it's not so bad. Nice, getting P-Speed here is very, very good. It's a nice juicy time save versus not getting P-Speed. Sometimes it's hard to get, sometimes it's easy to get. It's one of those weird P-Meter build slash manipulation things and you never know when the game's gonna check for your P-Speed. So luckily I got it. So this is the exact reason why I use the music box and go this route. It's not like the most ideal, but the good news is, is that when I beat this bro, or sorry, the good news is, is that when I beat 6-3, I can get rid of this bro right away and then I can do the auto scroller and go back to the fortress. I'm not sure, but I think I use a music box one more time. I can't remember. We're going to have to see. Bottom pattern. Let's go. Should we let the turtle live? We'll let him live. I honestly think the fact that we let that turtle live, we got, we got the record we did. Look at that. I let the turtle live there. You see that? We're getting really good hammer brother movements in this world so far. A couple movements of one already. And it's only a couple levels away until we start fighting them. So this is actually really good. Right there, if, if you can see that very last block, this is what makes this level so hard sometimes. If you bonk your head on any of these blocks when you go to jump, it's over, you're dead. 
So normally I can keep P-Speed there, but unfortunately when I went to jump over after I took damage, uh, my feet touched the ground, lost my P-Speed, I did the drop, and then I go through the door, and I'm sure a lot of you see me keep P-Speed through that door, which just adds to the save time, but unfortunately we didn't get it this time. Dang. So there's a little bit of time loss. So that was not a good Hammer Brother movement. That was a movement of four, but they didn't marathon or get stuck. That was just one bro doing a nice juicy movement of four. Ah, no P speed again. Dang it, man. This is one of those levels where like, it's it's almost out of your control. You need to learn how to do it so that you're prepared if you get it. But sometimes there's, there's like no guarantee. It's really annoying. This movement right here is fantastic. I can now get rid of this first bro, and there's only one bro left, which means I can get a bunch of movements of one. He can come over. Not only that, no marathon. This is perfect. We even got bottom pattern here. Kill him faster. You do not want to get top pattern with Hammer Brothers. Nicely done. There's a despawn strat right at the end, and it's also inconsistent, but it will save you a good amount of time. If you don't despawn that one plant in like the triple pipe section, where there's like two pipes up and then one pipe down. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. It happens, but I got lucky there, so that's good. So normally you would think here going to that hammer brother and fighting him would be faster, but it's not because I would have to do extra map movements to come back to this level. I might as well do the minimum amount of map movements to the level first and take the extra movement of one and I'm safe anyways. That level's always a treat. That level's always a treat. And you know what else is a treat? There are so many runners that can do that level right now. It's so impressive. That level's... Everyone's doing it. Everyone is doing it. I love it. It's great. All right, we got a low pattern. That's pretty good. That's what you want. Back it up, Mario. Back that ass up. Yeah, the dump truck. Mario's juicy dump truck. There you go, Mitch. Get it done. Very nice, you're looking for that damage boost there. You don't wanna keep your leap. You wanna take some damage and get through that, that little crack. Very nice, get through the cracks, don't forget. In 100%, we don't gotta take damage. We don't gotta wall jump. We have all the P-Wings we want. We fought all the Hammer Brothers, so don't take any damage in this level. Sometimes it's hard after you've been running Warpless for a while, you take damage by, by accident or by habit, and you're thinking you have to wall jump. Not in 100%, you're good. We want to do 6-9 first because we have our P-Wing and then we can do our damage boost strats in 6-10. You have to make sure you do this like weird fly. You have to make sure you jump, hit it, right? You can't run off and then fly because then you'll, you'll, you'll miss the question block. So that's a very tight thing to do just to begin with. Now we got to keep our P-Speed. You got to grab that block without, without hitting a wall clip, losing P-Speed or anything like that. And you have to position yourself in a way where the where the Buzzy Beetle or Buster Beetle grabs the next block, opening up the pathway. This run is 109 pace. Not quite sure what it is, but how crazy do you think it would be if I went for the 643 clip? I don't know. That'd be pretty crazy. I'm not going for it. You think I'm crazy? I'm not going for it. That is a spicy fire kill. I love that fire kill. There's a faster way to do it, but I really like that one. Nice sub pixel manipulation, and we saved a bit of time. Look at this, we saved 1.1. So we are head of the record right now, and honestly, my goal is a 109 4X. That's all I want. I wonder if I'm gonna get 7-1 first try. Ooh, it feels so nice. That's actually really true. 7-1 is not, a, like, we don't worry about that in 100%. I mean, you still have to get it, but we don't worry about it too much. What? Fast 7-2 on a run like this? Oh my God, I got some balls, man. I was even wondering if I went for fast 7-2 because of the pace we're on. Jeez. Oh. No way, and pipe the pipe. Pipe the pipe is a time save. Can I just say for the record, I have no idea what's gonna happen to me right now. The next 10 minutes, the next nine minutes, I have no clue what's about to happen. Next six minutes, I don't even know. That's, I love watching back and saying that. It's just, even right now, my heart's going a little bit. Pretty good menuing. You gotta watch out for the menuing of this. I mean, you got P-Wings and Stars all over the place. So it takes a while to grind out 100% to get comfortable with that. But we need the P-Wing and Star for these clips right here. 
This clip has a very generous window too. Nailed it. Oh, thank God I didn't get a fanfare. Oh my gosh. I've actually died in a run to that exact jump right there. My gosh. No, let's not die there again. See, I told you. So far, my biggest time losses in World 7 here is two bumps or one bump on the overworld map. All I know is my biggest time loss right now so far in this world are bumps on the overworld. Let's go. That P-Speed build is a lot harder than it looks. You have to like enter the door in a very nice way where when you come out on the other side, you don't decrease an arrow and you start building the next one. It's very weird. There's bump number two. In this situation, we don't go for 7-7 seven, seven first because we want to do it with a mushroom. So we go for 7-8 and we're going to take some damage. Just keep in mind, we don't grab hammer suit in this route because, because we have to do 7-9 and we have to do 7-7. Seven, seven. So grabbing the hammer suit and doing those levels are not going to help because in 7-9, if you're not going to do the clips, which you'd have to be insane to do the clips on a run like this, but I do still have a P-Wing, right? So I can't do hammer suit and then use P-Wing to fly up the top of 7-9 because flying up the top saves a lot of time. So it just doesn't work out that hammer suit is faster in 100%. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. You have to admit, though, this level does look pretty cool without grabbing hammer suit. Even right now, my heart is racing. That is not something that happens first try. And if it does happen first try, it's not on a run this good. It's just, it's... Oh, even my heart right now is still racing a little bit. I, was, I wasn't even sure that I got it. When I got the clip, I like turned left because I was ready to re-ramp. Because guess what? You never get a first try. And like, if you look at my face, I'm pogging so hard right now. This is disgusting. I've got all clips first try. The only mistakes I've made are bumps on the overworld map. I am losing it right now. And I did not get this first try in my 109.52. At least I don't think so. I don't remember getting it first try. So I am, I, I am just so nervous right now. Look at me, I can't even contain myself. Get it together. So on top of getting that, I get the mid clip. Mid clip is something that happens in 7-9 and it prevents me from having to go all the way up and come back around and down and grab fire and go. So that's like another three or four second time save. I got every clip first try, every clip that you want. Getting all four clips in 7-9 uh, and, and doing it against what I just did there, that won't even save you that much time because I got mid clip. It'll save you a good chunk of time, but not that much. The corner grab into the back into the pocket like the weep like that's so crazy i'm in full silent mode i don't i don't want to talk anymore that's it i've gone to the full silent the only thing standing in my way for this world record is just me and my ability to perform and play and blah 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 i opted out to do a safer strat right there because I mean, I can drop down, but if I lose my fire flower, I start bleeding time and trust me, trust me when I say this, you never get all of these clips first try in a run this good. I am not wasting that opportunity, not a chance. It's decision making and speed running is very important because at the end of the day, you're never gonna get that full perfect run that you dream about, that you imagine about, you're never gonna get it. So the game gave me this, so now I'm gonna give back and be like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta not do the fastest strategies possible. Oh my god, that's so tight. It scares me every time, man. This piranha plant used to be easy. Nope. So, I don't even think you can die or take damage with using a star. Still the hardest thing I've ever done. It's like a 5704 A press on the castle. Now, everyone knows we got World 7 airship. We have the World 8 auto scrollers. We got a whole bunch of this crap. So we're going to fast forward through most of the auto scrollers in World 8 and World 7 and touch up on the things that are very important for this run. All right. So I'll see you at the end of this airship. This is where like, this is where the four movements of four in World 5 is like, whatever now. Why am I thinking of World 5 right now? What am I thinking about? One of the other benefits of using Fire Flower in World 7 over Hammer Suit is that you can go for the Fire Kill on this boss, which you can't do for Hammer Suit. So that's actually pretty good. 
Maybe some off-screen wand grabs, but I don't think so in this run. That is just disgusting. That was a gold. That was a gold world seven. If I didn't get the mid clip, that still would have been like a minus eight or nine kind of thing. So, damn, that's juicy. And that fire kill almost got me. So, man, oh man. The funny thing is, is that I'm pretty sure I'm quiet on, I'm pretty sure I'm quiet for the rest of the run. Honestly, I don't think, I don't even know. I don't think I say anything. You guys like that username, Dusty Bottoms? Thanks for that prime sub, Dusty. Okay, so before we get too crazy into it, when it comes to the hands in 100%, you have to do them. You have to do all the levels in 100%. The hands are included as levels. However, everyone knows that when you cross the hands, they either pull you in or they don't. If the hands don't pull you in and you're sitting on the tile, you can still press A and enter the level. In 100%, if you go to cross the level and the hand pulls you in, that's additional time than if you didn't get hand and you enter the level on your own. So the idea in 100% is you still wanna get no hands. It's just, if you get pulled in by all three hands in 100%, you lose like four, I think it might be 4.5 seconds total from the hand animation. So my last record, I think I got one hand animation or no hand animation. I can't remember, but that's what we're looking for. There are two very particular speedrun strats in hand one and hand two. Hand one, you want to equip the star and you want to hold left when you start to, to maximize how much run space you have. You want to do this crazy P-Speed build straight across on the bridge with the fire bro and do a quick turn back while keeping P-Speed and it allows you to jump over everything. That one's very hard. And Hand Trap 2 actually has one of those weird P-Meter pseudo stutter step manipulations where you run to the edge, you do a turn back jump, and when you land, you start building your arrows instantly. So those are some things we're looking for. Let's take a look. We're going to equip our star first. Let's go, we got it. I That has only been implemented in probably about a month worth of runs because if you missed that, you wasted a star, you went your inventory, it didn't help, but that, that actually helped me a lot. I can get pulled in by the next two hands and I'm fine. And I didn't get pulled in by that hand either. Also, it's worth noting that if I didn't P-Speed into that pipe and lost my P-Speed, Mario can't enter pipes when he's somersaulting. So I'd have to wait for the star to run out. Really annoying. Ah, so we got we got pulled in by one hand and not pulled in by the other, and we got one of the hard strategies. Now we're trying to get the other hard strategy. Weird, I got the speed, but I didn't get P speed. So I mean, I still saved like a slight amount of time. We're talking frames. Yeah, so we only got pulled in by one hand. So I think we just lose a little bit of time compared to the 109.52 because I think I got no hands on that one, which is nothing special in 100%. Some people are saying hi, YouTube. Make sure you guys say hi back to them. Super quiet Mitch. That's right, super focused. Honestly, not the fastest boom boom kill, but it, I, I don't think I really lost much time or anything, not compared to what's, what, what's happening right now. So we got 8-1, 8-2, and 8-Fortress, 100%. They're all the same as Warpless. They, they really don't change. Uh, A2 is a little bit easier with Fire Flower because you don't have to do the hammer snipe on the sun and you can't do the alternate path with the hammer suit. So if you miss the sun, you got to get lucky. There's really only one optimal path with the hammer suit. So that kind of sucks. With Fire Flower on A2, you have the option of not even worrying about the sun at all. 8-1, you still got to do your fire shot. And 8 Fortress, you just got to be clean. So let's go. That's step number one. That's a clean A1. That's exactly what you want to do. Under the amount of pressure that I'm on right now, that is, that's still very difficult. I remember that being one of the hardest eight ones I've ever done in my life. And I've done a lot of eight ones and I'm really good at eight one and it's not that hard for me, but that was very difficult. And I have to make sure I don't get a fanfare here too. So don't mess up my turn back. Very clean, let's go. The sun tried to stop me. He always tries to stop me. Every world record run that sun gives me some kind of grief or gripe or I don't know what it is, but he hates me. You know what? I hate him too. 
Unfortunately, we didn't get conveyor P speed, but I think I also didn't get conveyor P speed in the 109.52 as well. So I, I knew that was okay. I think I'm not entirely, I can't remember, but trust me, that's not that big of a time loss. Cypher in chat said, this is terrifying to watch. It was terrifying to play, holy crap. I'm so nervous. Even like wiping my eyes, I was like, uh, like it was so ridiculous. Hey, that was a good, that was a good donut block fall. Okay, get off my back. Dude, not getting that first try is so, that was like a one second time loss, man. Bullcrap, why am I stressing over the hands and these crazy strategies if you're just gonna lose time on that stupid block? I hate it. The last thing that's left is Bowser's stupid troll fireball where he jumps and shoots at the same time. That would, oh man. That moment right there, like a moment of freedom. I've been, I've been, I was locked into this run by World 7 of constant stress and high heart rate. That moment of freedom is almost slightly better than getting the world record. And the only way to have that feeling of being free from the run is to be in that run. It's just a crazy moment all put together. I, I, that's the best I could explain it. My goal was trying to beat a 109.52 by getting a 109.4x. That's all I wanted was a 109.4x. I'm so shaky. I was so shaky. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh fuck. A 109.38. A 109.38. That's really good. That is a really good time. But the question stands. Is it impossible to beat? No. No, it is not impossible. We got the four movements of four in world five, which is a lot of time right there. We got door three, we got Jesus clip. I missed one of the chests in the Hammer Brother battle. We didn't get all lower battles. So there's still lots of time. We didn't get the P speed in hand trap two. We got pulled in by a hand. We didn't get conveyor P speed. We messed up a little bit in seven nine before we went for mid clip. Other than that, I mean, I didn't need to use a star in the Piranha Plant in world seven the piranha plant two i didn't need to use a star in that one so i mean there's still time to save i i, I did do fast seven two which is that is just scary i got a movement of four in world six i didn't get p speed in six four i didn't keep my p speed in six fortress one when i jumped when i jumped over the the blocks there um unfortunately though those are all tiny little things those will only help you if the hammer brother movements work so is this run impossible? No, but I really feel like this run is super intimidating. And even I am not confident at how easy it would be for me to beat something like this. This thinking about this run makes me very stressed if I were to run 100% and try and go for world record. I think everyone should still go for the sub 110. Some of the top runners, they're very close. They should keep grinding for that. And I think some of the top runners may accidentally beat this run just like how I accidentally beat the 109 4X because all it took was 7-7 to work and a couple extra clips, which I know a lot of the top level runners, they know how to do all that stuff, man. So 100% is still very exciting to me, but it is not impossible to beat. I really, really, really wanna know what you all feel about this 100% run. Uh, write in the comments below anything you think I missed or any anything you feel, did you watch it live? Do you like a certain level? Do you think there's time saves? Would you like to see me go for the world record? What do you think that would be like? Anything you guys wanna talk about, I'm super interested in this topic just all together. But as for now, I think the video's gone long enough, so thank you all for watching so much, and I hope you guys have a good night, a good morning, wherever you are, and I just really appreciate you guys all watching. Thank you so much.